Hey everyone, it's E, and welcome back to my channel. So, like many of you, I had an obsessive Twilight loving stage when I was a teenager, followed by a very critical Twilight denouncing phase. Why is that? I think it's the same reason that Justin Bieber was so polarizing back then. Girls liked it, so it must be bad and embarrassing. And honestly, in many ways, the Twilight Saga is not that good. But it was very entertaining and fun, and the things that we think of as being kind of cringe now, like the sparkling vampires, in my opinion were actually unique, a cool and different spin on the classic horror vampire. Okay, so I just read Midnight Sun, which is basically Twilight as told by Edward, and I watched all five of the movies recently as well. I didn't reread all of the books because I really don't care that much, but here are my current thoughts. One, the movies are very aesthetic and have great soundtracks. And two, I used to think that Robert Pattinson's face kind of looked like a Pringle, but now I'm kind of like, okay, he is kind of pretty. But what the heck was going on with his gross sideburns in Eclipse? He looked way too old to pass as a 17 year old. And the thing is that like they tamed them for Breaking Dawn and like got rid of the sideburns again. And then he went back to looking like a pretty little boy again. So I don't know why they even dabbled with those sideburns at all. They were nasty. Three, I'm still Team Jacob. Honestly, Part of the reason that I didn't enjoy Eclipse and Breaking Dawn as much as Twilight and New Moon is because so much of Eclipse and Breaking Dawn revolved around the Team Edward versus Team Jacob drama, and I think it was done very poorly. After Twilight, I kind of liked Bella with Edward, but in New Moon, I felt uneasy about how she fell apart when he left. It showed how unhealthy the relationship was. All that intense romance, what makes it so great, also makes it bad. Especially when we contrast that with Bella and Jacob's friendship, which is mutually beneficial and happy generally. In Eclipse, they basically gave all of Edward's bad, obsessive qualities to Jacob and made him unrecognizable from the dude who helped Bella repair some motorcycles. And four, while we're on the subject of the motorcycles, can we discuss how that's basically Bella's only hobby, which she stops pursuing as soon as Edward comes back in her life. Edward always goes on and on in Midnight Sun about how Bella's not like other girls, but she's kind of boring. The only thing that she does is read, which is fine. She has no interest in clothes, makeup, sport, art, anything really. So what is it that it makes her so unique exactly? Well, according to Edward, it's because she's not selfish like everyone else. Edward really thinks that she's the only generous, self-sacrificing girl in the world. Okay, sure. Really, Bella's not that different from most people aside from her crazy devotion to her boyfriend. So let's talk about Midnight Sun more in depth now. As I said, it's told from Edward's perspective and honestly, it's not that interesting, and somehow it's like twice as long as Twilight. Do you know why? It's because Edward forces us to read his stream of consciousness back and forth of should I stay or should I go? I'm bad for her, but she loves me, so it would be bad if I left. On and on and on and over and over again, page after page, he waffles so much. It is realistic that he waffles so much, because I guess people in real life go back and forth over big decisions too, but I feel like, for me, I enjoy linear storytelling more, and this is not very linear, it's very circular, and I think it's unpleasant to read. Another issue with Edward. Stephanie Meyer has been criticized in the past for her racist depiction of the Native American Quileut tribe, which is a real tribe, by the way. I never really saw it much before, but it's kind of clearer in Midnight Sun especially how the tribe is really only there to serve the greater story with no real agency of their own. 
They have this treaty with the Cullens, which is kind of BS in the first place. It says that the Cullens can't go on the reservation and the tribe, in turn, can't out them as vampires. What? Why does there need to be a treaty in the first place? It's their land. They don't need to make an agreement with anybody to keep them away, do they? Also, okay, vampire presence is what causes the youth of the tribe to phase into werewolves. The Cullens seem to know this, but insist on hanging around anyway. They've got, like, houses all over the place that they could go live in. But they just love Forks so much that they can't stay away. And so they keep on hanging around with little regard for how their presences may attract other covens and cause more kids to painfully shift into beasts. So the Cullens are, like consistently portrayed as being so like warm and generous and they're hailed as being these peaceful considerate people but they don't give two poops about the quilutes also when edward finds out that jacob kind of told the like told bella about the cullens being vampires Edward kind of casually contemplates committing a genocide on the reservation. He doesn't go through with it, obviously, but it's like never addressed that Edward just toyed around with killing a whole tribe of Native Americans. It was super messed up, and we just don't discuss that. And that's part of the issue with like these racist things in these books is it's okay if Edward has a racist opinion or view, as long as it's confronted and addressed, which it never is. So to conclude those thoughts, uh, the Twilight Saga is cringy and bad and problematic in so many ways. In the hands of a more conscientious author, the elements of this story could have made something really incredible. But what we have is still fun and it definitely engages my imagination. So I guess that's all I really have to say about Twilight. I hope you enjoyed this fan art. I did draw, I guess this is kind of Team Edward-ish fan art, but it's them in that meadow. And I just really wanted to draw his skin super sparkly, sparkly. So that's what I did. Peace out, everyone. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.